the evening, uh, one evening, uh, I actually had parked the car, locked it up, and left it for the evening. And I was inside the house when my um, tracking company called me up and told me that the battery's running down, I better go and have a look. Subsequently, went to the car, noticed that the inside of the car was white. All right. Tried to get the doors open, didn't work with the remote. Fortunately, uh, the, you could open the bonnet up with a key. Disconnected the battery, that was my first thought, get the battery off. Then tried to get into the car. Got in through the, 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 the driver's side door, opened it and found the whole car full of smoke. Okay? Um, some of the car was still hot. Well, it was actually hot to the touch. So I kept it, and I actually kept on padding it until about nine o'clock that evening to make sure that there was nothing combustible around there because the other car was standing next to it. Um, then the following morning, I called Ford up and I said to him, listen, gentlemen, there's a problem. This car's hard as burned out, standing in the garage. They then collected the car with a, a recovery unit, took it to Ford, and they took it apart. I went, my specific question was, what caused this? Because I don't see how a car can just burn its harness out when it's switched off and nothing is actually going on. Um, up until today, they can still tell me exactly what caused the fire. And eventually, after about three weeks of, of, of arguing to and fro, they told me they're not going to fix it. All right? They were hopping on about service intervals and all sorts of stuff, but they're not going to fix the car due to the fact that uh, the engineers say it's not their problem. The insurance company I went to was uh, FSP Insurance at the time. They said it's a Ford workmanship issue. So they did not honor the, 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 the uh, insurance claim as well. Subsequently, I then had the car removed from Ford and I took it to a garage in Funabel Park with the name Autofix and I asked them to please fix this thing but tell me why it burned. The auto electrician eventually located the fault to the cable loop beneath the seat switch, was, which was, if you adjust your seat to the lowest position, becomes too long and it chafed it through and eventually that caused the short circuit and burned out the harness. My question was, how is it possible that a car which is switched off and parked can still burn in a garage like that? They told me these cars apparently are still, they're still kind of running all over that car. The whole uh, electrical system is still alive, except the fact that you just switch the ignition off. That's the only difference. So the whole car is actually a, a sitting bomb. Unfortunately, uh, I had this car fixed and I cannot sell it. I can't get rid of it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to steal it. Therefore, I still have to finish paying for this car and then I can only go and buy something else again. Or I'll be stuck with this thing until Kingdom Come by the looks of it. Frankly, I don't get my family driving that car. I drive it alone and uh, obviously I have to accept the risk. I've got no other choice. But, uh, I don't allow the family to drive that thing at all, it just stands there and I'm the only one using it. Frankly, I own an EcoSport as well, which is parked next to this thing. I do not have any uh, uh, trust in, 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 in Ford's maintenance abilities or repair abilities after this, and also I will never in my entire life tell someone or, ask, or even recommend for to anybody else, or even buy one in my, time, in, in my time again, because I just find the way that this thing is handled was totally arrogant. Nobody uh, of the, 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 the engineering staff even bothered coming down there to have a look what the whole situation was. I just snapped it off and kept quiet. In fact, I even after the fact that I had this thing fixed, I mailed Ford an email, which the copy is part of the NCC uh, uh, claim, that this is where the fault occurred, and is it possible that they can warn other people or bring these cars in? Mine, is, mine incidentally, is a 2.5 litre, not the 1.6 litre. I said, bring these cars in, one of the electric seats, and check them because someone's going to die. No response. No argument, no, nothing from them again afterwards. I never heard a word since. My point of view is. The reason why I started this campaign is, Richel's car is now deemed to say, being said that it's, it's an isolated case. It's not. 
if there was electric fire in my car, I can clearly see that it could happen here as well. All right? Ford had my car before Jimmy died. They did nothing about it. They had it for three weeks. They did nothing about it. You understand what I'm saying? This could have been prevented. 